So different types of MCQs will demand different ways of answering them, which you need to understand. For example here, question 1, you will have a question, when you notice it has the word select in a box, it means there are choices down there. So what do you do? As an example, question 1, click on that. You are determining whether the answer is male or female. If you think John is male, click on male. If you think Rose is female, you click box, drop down box, click on female. That's the first kind of question. The second type of question of MCQ may be filling blanks. In this kind, there will be a box there. So all you have to do is type the answer. John is male, Rose is female. That is called a filling blank kind of question. The other type of question is a filling blank but with only one spot for filling. The previous one, there were multiple areas to fill. So it's called a multiple filling blank. The next one, question 3 as an example here, is only one answer which you need to fill in. That is a single multiple, um, so a single filling um, kind of question. The next kind of question is question 4. And in this kind of question, it's a true and false question. What does it demand? You tick on whether you think this statement here is true or false. In this instance, we are at home now. The answer is true. You'll click on it. The next type of question you'll see may also be a filling blank type of question or where you're filling in some questions, but it also has still a select box. So example, I am not sick with COVID-19. The answer is true. Either way, that is supposed to be the answer. So notice the way you are answering. And that's an example of question what about question 6? In question 6, here is where the uh, lecturer intends you to only fill in the answer. So you will do the calculations on the side. And the only thing that you are going to add here is the answer. If you think 330 hours is the answer, you put the answer there straight away. If you did a calculation, yes. But since you don't, it doesn't demand you to show, you simply put the answer and you go to next. That is one type of a question. It is a numerical question where you're doing calculation and only putting a numerical answer. If I try to type here any other thing, a word, you will see, it will give you a message. Only numerical values are accepted. In this given instance, you need to correct that and just put the answer. The other type of a question is like question 7. This type of a question is called a multiple answer question. How will you not? This table here. On the side here, you'll see boxes instead of squares. And that means you're determining. The students are, if they're at home and you think that is home, you tick on it. They are learning at home, you tick on it. They're on campus, you ignore it. Not learning at all. So these two are the important ones. And you see, they are multiple answers. You will see a tick again. The other type of a question is like question 8. In this instance, it's a multiple choice question. So not... There is no A, B, C, D, but you simply have the answers. How do you answer this kind of a question? You click on the one that you think is correct. The current curfew is from what time to what time? So if you feel, if you feel it is 74, 811, 49, or blah, click on the right answer. That is a multiple choice question line. The other kind of question is like this one here. In this kind of a question, I have shortened it. It was having a long area, blah, 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 and the final uh, part is calculate the standard deviation and show your work. In this area, you will be given an area where you need to do the working. To do this kind of a question, you will need to use this in certain math equation, but remember, it depends on how your teacher has decided to give you this kind of mathematical questions. But suppose I was given a place for that, I can come here and decide to insert my question. It will open a new page here, and knowing the formula of uh, my calculation, I know I need to say sigma is equals to, then I will come um, and the other operations, here okay, until you find the one that you want, and in this instance, I have to go to basic, the square root, the square root here, is supposed to have that, it has a, and has a, the sum, and then you can find the other portions of the examination. I know it's supposed to have a subscript somewhere with that. Okay. And they come back to superscript. I know it's supposed to have that kind of formula. Give the mu somewhere. I look for mu. 
remember this one is supposed to be squared so if it is squared as an example remember different questions would demand different things let's say i need to have that formula inside there with an n and when you're ready just say insert equation and there the equation is ready and you can continue tackling that again with a different insert a new and continue you know doing the mathematical formula until you finish and show you are working another example here it's the second question here still mathematical with another simple way of doing it wants me to do this and of course first rewrite and give the inequality with the right side blah 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 assuming i know the answer come to math equation here come again on the function here you know my answer is supposed to be x um, plus x plus 2 is equals to hypothetically x plus 3 which is equals to minus 2 yeah, sorry minus 2 I need another it's supposed to be x suppose supposedly that formula is not accurate but supposedly this was supposed to be the way I needed to solve it then I will write there and if it's supposed to have a less than blah kind of equation and I put there and, and I can work it and remember to insert the equation and there is my equation note this for you to become perfect in using the math insertion function you should practice on it also consult your lecturer and how to go about to use the math insertion, insertion function. The other kind of a question would be this. This is common for people doing business. They may be given uh, some information and they're supposed to do a single book cash column. So the question that comes is how are you going to tackle that? In this instance, you realize you may need a table. So what do you do? Come here on the table, insert a table, determine how many columns you need to have. And once you have that, you know you may have information on debt, uh, description uh, amount amount etc and you can fill all this table with the formula uh, no, with the right information that is required for you to complete that table now in a nutshell what that is how you should be able to tackle different kinds of questions that may come your way remember practice makes you perfect